Welcome to the fucking show. Welcome to the show. Have a seat, my nigga. Recline back. Real niggas making a. Nigga be like, damn, we ain't gonna hell with that swallowing in t-shirts. We gonna we gonna take it to the try to take it to the top. The ladies, next time y'all could take y'all tops off, maybe, right? We can do it for the guys. No, <laughs> just, you know, just, just an idea. No, no, no <laughs> I'm gonna take this jacket off right now. Right, right. I'm about to say that's the only thing. <laughs> it's fucking hot already. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> y'all fun, dude. There y'all go. Get them shits off. It's hot, girl. You hot. That's you. That's you hot, girl. <laughs> it's cool in here, but you so hot. Okay, we talking now. We got the tank top. We showing arms. We showing arms today. You got on arms. I gotta be able to reach my neck. I got on arms. You got arms right there. I'm gonna pull them arms out. All right. I seen a young lady walking out the walking out the gym. She was man. She was like this. I was like, ooh. I ain't about to say nothing to her. Yeah, I wasn't intimidated, just not attractive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but friendly. she was definitely, she was definitely cut and swole for sure. Like, damn, she began it in. Like, but no, definitely wasn't attracted to me. Like, sex like, it looked like sex with her would hurt. Like, oh, it'd be painful. Right. Sex. It'd be, we had to be fighting each other, some shit. I don't well, know. That reminds me of that one episode of Futurama. When they went to that one planet, and it was all Amazonian women. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was... We do snork, snork. <laughs> ah, that was so funny. That's hey, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the things that I totally forget. <laughs> womp, womp. I bring humor to this. Let's go. Y'all ready? Three, two, one. Welcome to the Acquired Taste Media Podcast. You know who it is. That's a wee cash cow. And I'm here with two of my lovely ladies, my Nubian queens, my Nubian goddesses. To my left, I got my girl, Risha. What's up, Risha? Oi, oi. 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 That's how you say it. Oi. (laughs) Original Indigo Empress. That's correct. That's correct. And to my right, I have Asia Latrice. Love and light. What, did you say Dipset Bird Gang? Is that what you just said? Okay, we switched from the Love and Light to Dipset Bird Gang. Purple, switches up. Purple know? City. Hey, Purple City. When you dip and you're about to leave, you say Dipset Bird Gang. Okay, that's what's up. So, how you ladies doing? Good? Good. The week's over. The week's over. Just Tomorrow's so. Friday. Mm-hmm. And it could be... Memorial Weekend. Mo- oh, yeah, Memorial Day weekend. What y'all yeah. doing for Memorial Day? Y'all okay. cooking out? No. Any fish fries? I have no idea. I usually just fall in for something. Yeah, yeah that's probably what that's probably what's gonna happen this year. You gonna you know? call into something or fall? Is, I said fall into something. Yeah, I thought you said call into something. You no, <laughs> gonna call somebody like, what are you doing? You gotta cook it out. All right, come in over there. All we'll right. see. And you know, this is it's hot now in Cleveland, so everybody's trying to turn up right now. So. Well, I know my people's just having something going on, so oh, that's dope. maybe uh, if y'all ain't doing nothing, y'all can slide through there. I think it's out in South Euclid okay. or something, but I'll let y'all know. For sure. Um, see, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We we be lit. We lit. And I'm cooking. I'm probably gonna cook myself. Probably Monday. <clears throat> Cook, cook me a couple slabs, a couple steak. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, going to eat somebody else's house ain't the same as having your own shit. It's you know not. what I'm saying? Because you take that one plate and then you be wanting more. Like, yeah. so yeah, you just might as well just cook your own little meal at the house. It's not guaranteed their food going to be good. Because sometimes it'd be a potluck type of situation. Oh, no, 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 no. Bring your stuff. You not know? with my peoples. We don't potluck. I know who cook. We all know who cook. We know the food going to be. I'm not saying your family. I'm just oh. saying when you go to different, you know, you oh, yeah, just yeah, pull yeah. up at people's different barbecue jump offs this weekend, you know. You never know what to expect. So Are you trying to say good. my people can't cook? No, that's, that's not what, what I'm that's, saying. It's kind of, it's kind of like, wait, what? No, I'm just saying, you know, like how if you weren't, if, like, say if you didn't have your people's house to go to. And people was just like, hey, pull up, hey, pull up, hey, pull up. And you went and pulled up, and they food wasn't good. It's good that you do cook your own so oh, you know oh, that okay. you got some good food to eat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's what I, I was trying to say. I thought you were trying to say my people couldn't no, cook. I'm about to say, wait a minute, hold up. Like, you're going to have to pull up for real. Now I'm going to bring a plate to something. Like, we don't play. <laughs> we don't play. Like but anyways. <laughs> what? <laughs> what would you say? Place is good to be brought to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how long those places last. The next episode is Tuesday. 
I'm going to get that plate on Sunday. No, you said you cook it Monday. Monday. Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to have my, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm talking so about, uh, I don't. Uh, we can sit here and I'm eat the food and judge it. We nah, can judge yeah. it on the podcast. Nope. <laughs> here, here we go with this. All right, whatever. We can make that happen. It's not a problem because I know how to cook. So our first line of business, and I guess I'm going to get this out the way first because what you got was a little, is a little raunchy. So, and it was raunchy, but I just be wanting to understand people's mentality because I have something to say, you know, like. Oh, okay. Well, let's get to that first then. So, so um, it seems as though it was a young lady. Well, you go ahead. Tell us what, what, what happened. So, it was this chick. She recorded a video. Uh, she talked about this guy who, you know, had good sex, oral sex. And she was like, hey, you know, that's what you good for, you know. She said, so one day he called her, like, hey, you know what I'm saying, like, let's hang out every time you come over. You know, you just be talking about this, this, let's cuddle, let's watch movies or whatever. <laughs> and so the chick, like, no, this is not what we're doing. Like, you good at this. This is what you do. And then, you know, we keep it moving. You know, it's nothing else after that. And so I was like. I'm a person who read the comments, you know, and people was like, this is, you know, this is sad because this is a defense mechanism. She's been hurt before, so now she hard. And so I'm just like, you know, so I'm the type of person, I'm going to look at all different perspectives, but I just thought it was interesting because for me, honestly speaking, I have not mastered the ability to be like, yeah, we do this, and then like, nigga, we go together. If I'm getting, <laughs> <laughs> we go together. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm like, somebody, like, teach me your ways, because how are y'all separating that? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, and that's <laughs> it's definitely can it definitely can be separated for sure. Yeah, I mean, clearly it can be separated. But I don't know. I'm just I don't know. I'm just and I guess. Well, I don't know. It's weird. he sounds like a munch, right? Ain't that what the, <laughs> what, ain't that what a munch would be called? <laughs> ain't what? that what Ice Spice what called the a nigga? Is a, <laughs> <laughs> a nigga who just likes to eat pussy, right? Oh, I thought he was a munch. Oh, ain't that what that's, that's what Ice Spice said like oh, last year. Sometime. Thank you, Ice Spice. But I, that's that's, that's what she called a nigga a munch. Wow. But um. So what do you what what do you, so what, do what are your think? thoughts? Huh? <laughs> what do I think? Because I'm what do I, I think? Like, I feel like this is okay. So scientifically speaking, right? I think it's easier for men to detach because of the type of sexual organ that they have. You know what I'm saying? They have an outer. You know what I'm saying? So they don't have to necessarily experience the inner emotional attachment that comes along. We're having sex with a with a man, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Get deep, it's what I'm different. Saying. Get deep. It's, it's, it's it's an internal thing. So you on the inside of a woman, where men they can detach because their yeah their organ is is an external. Feature. Not it's an Audi. It's an Audi, <laughs> like a belly button. Right. Right. <laughs> we have any. You have Audis. <laughs> exactly. We're so emotionally We're talking about my attached. penis. Yeah, because it's very interesting hmm. because. When you think about, it's just interesting to me, this whole topic, because (laughs) I have been experiencing, you know, a lot of people that are in relationships that aren't happy. They aren't getting happiness. So what is wrong with a woman just being free with that and no having no attachment to whoever she is sleeping with? As long as it's safe and it's protected and they're both two consensual adults, like why did why does she have to why does she have to try to make something more of it than she doesn't want? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. If that's not where she is in her space, why she gotta be fucked up? Why she gotta be all this when Maybe she just want her own time. Maybe she don't want to be with nobody. But it's, that's not. But okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Finish. I ain't no, mean no, that's fine. That's all. I was really was gonna say. Um, but that's why it's somebody who's like that has to have some type of trauma. 
Um, because when you're when you, when you when you have sex with somebody, you should there should be something there. If it's not, and you if it's not, then you're you 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 don't have any feelings. I guess you're heartless, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But that's not something that you're. Most people aren't raised to be. But how are men able to do it so easily? But women I can't can't see. It? I can't say that men are easy. To, I, I'm not. I'm. I'm. It's I'm, because I'm, out here fucking bitches all the time. Like just like, like it's nothing. Like they will fuck the next of, bitch. It's like it's a, married men and married women. They both do it. Like right. it's a it's a natural instinctual thing. Like I don't believe that we are supposed to just love one. Person. I don't think it's natural and instinctual. I think it's all based on the person and the way that you may have been raised and the things that you've seen when you were coming up. That's how I look at it. Everything is based off of behaviors and the behaviors that you've seen. Um, or, you know, I feel like, you know, the things that you've seen in the environment of you growing up. Now, when we talk about men just going from woman to woman, I don't I, I, I don't do that. I'm, I'm with Risha. Like, if we having sex, I would like to have a relationship. If we just have sex and we don't have a relationship, then as a man, I do feel some type of way because... I may feel like, well, damn, you know, I'm good enough for you to have sex with me, but I'm not good enough for you to be with. And that's just me personally. I don't know if that's how all men feel, but with this guy talking about, hey, can we do something other than me, than you coming over and sitting on my face, it lets you know that he's, he's, he, even though he's just eating pussy, he feels some type, he's, he's not eating, he's eating the pussy because he feels some type of way about you and he wants more with you then what you want with him. So at that point, Dom, what she should do is say, well, you know what? This is getting too deep. Let me step away because I can't keep fuck with you because you, 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 you starting to catch feelings and that's not what I want. I bet you that's not what she do. But I'm just saying that that should be the move because now you see that this man is catching feelings and likes you and wants to spend time with you and actually wants to try to build something with you. And you like, nah, nigga, just keep eating my pussy. Either somebody has to, somebody needs to be the bigger person and say, hey, I can't keep doing this. If it's not going nowhere, if me eating your pussy ain't leading to a relationship, or we're not, even like, like you said, even if we're not um, exclusive with each other. If I'm eating your pussy and then you going out fucking another nigga and then coming back and I'm eating your, like, this is crazy. Like, this sounds, this, this is crazy. But, I, but. I'm going to give the woman the benefit of the doubt and say that she just getting her pussy ate by him because that's just what she like. And maybe she's not trying to be dating a bunch of niggas right now. She just getting her pussy ate. You know what I'm saying? So let's just say she's not a disgusting broad and she just getting her pussy ate by this one guy. Still, he's falling for her just off of doing that. So I think that I think that it depends on how you was raised and maybe um, the things that you've seen coming up on how you may feel when it comes to different type of relationships. But I know me personally, I seen my parents married my whole life. Never seen my father cheat. Never seen my father, my mother, you know, have a, a falling out about cheating and different niggas or different bitches. None of that. I, I, I pretty much, in my opinion, had a pretty healthy upbringing when it came to seeing a, a, a healthy marriage. Everybody can't say that. And I can't expect everybody to, to think and live and try to, you know, I can't expect people to be how I want them to be because they weren't raised like me. I can't expect them to have the same morals and values because they weren't raised like me. So when you do come across somebody who, like this young lady, may not have the same morals and values as you, then you just have to step away. Nigga like eating pussy. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of niggas out there that like eating pussy. Like, shit, I nigga, ah, fuck it, I just like eating pussy. But I just think it needs to be a discussion they need to have because obviously they haven't discussed it for her to feel that kind of way, for her to even address it that way. Because I think if they were to talk about it and he like, okay, yeah, I want to do more than that. And she'd be like, well, listen, I understand that's how you feel, but that's not where I'm at. Right. And I don't yeah. want that right now. That doesn't mean the girl is fucked up. That don't mean she got something psychologically going wrong. She probably just don't want to be with him. Or she that. not ready for that. Like it's I, I, all about it's all about where somebody mentally is and you have to have that conversation. You can't just assume. Yeah. You just can't assume that she don't want to be with him because of that one t interaction they had. They didn't even talk. Well, I mean, it was I, what she said, what he said and what she said, and we didn't hear his response back. 
So he could have been like, no, I want to fuck with you. Or yeah, I still want to fuck with you. It's his choice. So it wasn't like she, and she was being honest. It wasn't like she was trying to shirk. Yeah, like, yeah, come over and cuddle. Knowing that she don't want to cuddle with him. What if she did that and she sold him the dream and she don't even feel that way? Then he, then, then, then she comes back and be like, listen, I know we cuddled the other day, but that's not really what I'm on. Then a nigga went psycho. And now, oh, I thought we were together. I thought he, so many things to be assumed. It just needs to be a conversation had for, for anything to not be what it doesn't need to be. That's how I feel. The reason I say it's trauma there is because, and I didn't touch on this with what I was speaking about, but the reason I say that there's trauma there is because I feel like you should, if if you engage into some type of sexual relationship, whether it's oral sex or or penetration, and there's no responsibility, right, there's no responsibility or the emotional connection there, then I feel like I don't think that we're built like that. I know I'm not built like that. But like I say, depending on how you was raised, and once again, if she was raised with no heart and no love, then that's an issue. That's trauma. That's something That's something that went bad because women are nurturing. Women are loving. Women want companionship and things of that nature. I'm not saying women don't use men and men don't use women, but... I feel like, you know, our, our, you know, when we, when we start, when we come in, this, this is what we want. This is how we go. And the things that we, um, go through in life make us feel like, all right, you know what? I can't trust women no more. Or, you know what? I'm not fucking with these hoes like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Because of something that I went through or something that was traumatic to me that makes me feel like, all right, I can't trust women or I can't get emotionally attached to a woman because I'm going to get hurt or something's going to happen to me like it did before. That's why I brought the trauma into it. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying she's crazy or nothing like that. But a lot of times things, the, re- the reason that we move the way we move in relationships is based off of how we were treated in previous relationships. But how, but how you don't know she's not working on herself? She could literally be like, I am trying to work on myself, but I still need the sex. I still like the whatever I do on the side. Oh, yeah, I still want to do that. I, 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 I would feel like. I find myself and be free. I don't want to have to feel obligated to commit to somebody when I'm not in the mental space to commit to someone. So, like. Why can't it be that? I'm just saying. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying that might be a flip side to it because any woman ain't just going to say some shit out of her ass. Like, she seemed very confident in what she was saying when I saw the video. It seemed like she knew what she wants, when she wants it, when she wanted it. So... She might be traumatized. She might have some scarring from when she was younger. But her working on herself and being by herself while this man is still with her. That's not her being, being by herself, though. And her being honest But that's not being That's not being by herself, together. though. They're that's, not together. So what? He, you, let her, you let him. She's like, no. But you let him eat your pussy, exactly though. But, but, but you let him eat your pussy. And so you you're not. after that. You're but not no, saying but, to cuddle. Once again, you're What's not. the point? You're not being by yourself, though. Don't sit there and be like, I'm being by myself and I'm working on myself when you're letting a nigga eat your pussy. That's not working on yourself. That's that's using somebody. That's, if you're that, not, that's a gratification for what five, ten. But that's using minutes. somebody. That's being. A, that's, like, that's all it really but is. That's, it's but a oral, but it's don't a you pleasure. understand? That's a woman using a man. No, if you're working on yourself, you and shouldn't she be said using that. nobody. She wasn't lying. It was not she was lying at all because if a nigga said that to a girl, it would be it'd be like, oh, he just saying some real shit. But a female saying it, it, it a guy want to get all his feelings about it. That's yes, because cool. you asked me about. I'm a man, it's and I'm letting cool. you know it's not. A, well, it's not about it being cool. It's the truth. The and niggas have trauma too. They be traumatized just as fucking much. And what are you talking one, about? As soon as one guy says something, he wants to he wants to whine about a girl don't want to cuddle with him. Okay, deal with her not wanting to cuddle with you. Either you're gonna be with her still, or you're not. He's Period. not the one put this shit out. She is. Period. So she she's the traumatized one. I'm sorry. You want to go on Instagram and tell fucking That's shit fine. about your life? You, you got issues. This is just not the things that people who have in my opinion regular stable upbringings I do. Think, you're, not, think, you're not you're not looking for clout. You're not looking for attention because you love yourself. Maybe you have enough self-respect time. where I don't have to go online Maybe and tell people Men that I eat pussy. I mean time. that I get my pussy ate every day. You don't have to do that if you're working on yourself. Men do it that don't sound like but once again you just said working on yourself. That don't sound like working on myself the, to me. The man and the women who do this are very just, low caliber to begin with. But I just want to say this about the whole thing. I get what both of y'all are saying. I just feel like, you know, and I've experienced uh, a, time, a moment in my life where it's just like, I don't want to be with nobody, but I wouldn't mind having somebody I could just chill with, you know what I'm saying? Or we can kick it, we can travel together or something and, mm-hmm. not, and not actually be with this person. Mm-hmm. And it went well, 
for a very long time. But then I be, that's and this is why I'm like, this is where for me it's like, how do you separate it? Because eventually I started feeling like. We got something. We, got right. something. we should have something. It's, it's, it's something here, right? So the disconnect, the dis- yeah, absolutely. The That's conversations always happen. But I'm saying. It's still feelings, though. You can talk, but I feel a certain way. You know, I would I would say just, and you said men do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? But I would say I just feel like it's easier for a man to detach emotionally from a relationship, a sexual relationship from with a woman. I feel like it's easier for a man to detach. And so for a woman to do it, you know what I'm saying? That does not mean, like, in the comments, you know what I'm saying? That does not mean that she has some type of, it's not always the case. Sometimes she just at a point in her life where she just, like, I'm not really trying to be in a relationship with somebody, but maybe I'm trying to get this, or satisfied, or something. You right. know what I'm saying? No, I totally that's, understand that's, what you're saying. Thing. So but, I get what both of y'all are saying. You know what I'm saying? Because at the same time, if you keep doing that, if you keep participating in that, eventually that tie is going to start to pull. You know what I'm saying? You're going to start to be like desiring that person, or you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that that over time won't build because yeah. that it just needs to be a conversation. I'm just saying from her post. It seems like they didn't have a conversation yeah, well, about yeah. that at all. Yeah, well, no, no. Like, he came to her like this. She came back like this. But what was his response? We just heard what he, she said that he said. It I'm, wasn't a full conversation that we heard. He wasn't sitting right next to her, and he was like, yeah. And then I said, well, yeah, I didn't like, I, look, I ain't going to lie. Her attitude to me was, was fucked up. Yeah. Like if you want, even if you want to talk about, even, right? If you even if you want to, she might have been from New York. I understand she was very straightforward, but damn, you can have polish about something like you. You lightweight making it seem like this nigga's a sucker, and he ain't doing nothing but helping you out because you're trying to help, you're trying to better yourself, and this nigga eating your pussy when you want him to, but you dogging this nigga lightweight. Oh, he this and he want to cuddle and this that and this. Damn, so what the nigga want? What the fuck, bitch? You eating his pussy? He eating your pussy all the fucking time? What the fuck kind of shit is that, man? I nah, I ain't feeling that shit, but. It is what it is. That's how she feel. And she want to get her pussy ate. She think that nigga should eat her pussy and all that shit. Then fine. So be it. Let her get her well, pussy ate. that's the life that other people live. Right. Because I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be just be eating more, your pussy. I, more, I know that goddamn yeah. much. Fuck that shit. I was more shit. interested in the emotional detachment. And I like yeah. eating pussy. Yeah, it's an emotional detachment. Yeah, you know? it is. But that's what I'm saying. It's an emotional detachment for some men, but not all. Just like it's an emotional detachment for some women, but not all. I can't. It's it's hard for me to emotionally. That's why I don't just have random sex. I can't detach. There is no detachment for real for me. I'm too old for that. When I was younger, yeah, I'll fuck whatever. Keep it moving. I'm trying to knock this bitch off. Uh -uh. Now, it's too much spit, for sure. (laughs) It's too much um that i'm investing now it's my time it's my money right. it's my energy mm-hmm. so and just laying up and having sex and laying there and not doing that like all that shit is energy time all that shit so it's like if i'm going to do it with somebody now it's going to be somebody that that you know what i'm saying that is worth doing it with right. that i know that you know what i'm saying so that's why that's why i'm like no i can't detach at this point in time now yeah when i was younger probably but now that i'm older i ain't know if we if we doing it then we doing it together it's just me and you it's exclusive and honestly yeah we should be trying to work towards something if we fucking each other all the time then what the fuck you fucking me i'm fucking you what 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 we doing for real is we trying to get some money together like what is we gonna be doing because even that just gets old because you're like well what are we doing nothing all right well you know that, that gets old you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's get some money together, some shit like oh, that. So I don't, I don't know no other way outside that. Like, what? That's crazy though. But yeah, you got munches out here. They be eating pussy. Munch. Left and right. That's I'm telling you, I can't believe y'all didn't I can't believe y'all didn't know the name. Nope, didn't know the name. Ran across yeah. a million of them. Of them being like, <laughs> yeah, because you know what? I heard that niggas just be coming out with that nowadays. Sometimes yeah, like, yeah, I eat today. your, that was I eat your pussy. Today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Walked up on me and was like, oh, wow, can I eat your... Hey, slow down, homeboy. We should just say, hey. I don't even know you, bro. 
Well, yeah, that is, that is crazy. That is crazy. But it, it is, it, it, you know, we call it what we want. We're not going to call it trauma, but, you know, I think people definitely need some help. Some people, not all. Some people. All right, so this one guy that I'll be rocking with, his name is, um, he's a... Hey, that was fire. That's Kwame. Um, I don't know his name. Kwame, Dr. Jawanza Kanjufu. I'm sorry, that's not Kwame Nova. Dr. Jawanza Kawufu. What did it say? Kazufu. What did it say? <laughs> Kanjufu. So how y'all feel about that? Facts. Big facts. Mm. Is he telling the truth? Consistency definitely works. I know that's for sure. Encouraging your children definitely works. Yep. Praise. Praise, yeah. Whooping their ass. Discipline. But that comes with the consistency, in my opinion. That's how the yep. <laughs> <laughs> falls of the consistency. Of yep. You're falls of the consistency. You got to do what the, you're told to do. What do you think? I think, uh, yeah, I think um, everything he said pretty much is about right. He was talking about, um, I think encouragement is really important. Mm. Because, you know what I'm saying? That support when we growing up, you know what I'm saying, needing that foundation. You know what I'm saying? That support from your parents and stuff like that. So that's real important, that encouragement, which unfortunately do, does lack. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't get it, or a lot of people didn't get it when they were kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but, um, yeah, those uh, principles are solid, I believe. Very solid. I would say I would put five at number one right now. Parents should be their primary child's educators, period. Mm -hmm. Period, point blank. You have to be your child's main educator. You have to teach your child the things that you feel your child needs to know Mm -hmm. right now. Right now. Whether it's he needs to learn about financial literacy, learn about I'm going to teach him about saving money, I'm going to teach him about banking, I'm going to teach him about investing, I'm going to teach him about Money, period, finances, a budget, um, expenses, income, gifts, uh, work. Like, it's just so much education that I think our children, like, we, we always be like, oh, well, they don't teach this in the schools. Nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You can teach it at home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Period. They got programs. You know what I'm saying? Nonprofits that you can go to that teach it. You can get it taught to your child. It's about us having to take that that extra step mm. nowadays with these kids because COVID fucked us up. The C word, I might have to blank it out because they be fucking around it. They did. But COVID fucked us up, yo. Fucked us up. Put our kids behind. And see, a lot of times, see, they did this shit the same way they did shit back in the welfare days when they were telling everybody that they had to, they couldn't have their men in the households. But white people still had men in the households where black people didn't. It was the same thing with COVID. COVID, they had all the black schools shut down. Them white schools in the suburbs were still open. Hmm. The motherfuckers were still going to school. They were still getting their education, okay? Wow. Twinsburg, for a fact I know, was open. When all these schools in Cleveland was closed, Twinsburg was open. Wow. You can go online or you can come into school. You hear me? While everybody in Cleveland and the, and the other, you know, no, oh, ain't no school. You can't go. Mm-mm. No, it's, it's closed. You got to go online. 
And these niggas going online, half of the classes ain't working. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is sleeping class. Niggas ain't paying attention. Niggas not giving a fuck about online school. They don't know nothing about that. As well as they're going to online school while what? Their parents are at work. So am I really learning anything? Am I really trying? Because my ain't nobody there to tell me to try or to make me sit there and do the right thing. Yeah, I was lucky. I was lucky to be able to work from home, and I was able to be there with my kids while they were homeschooling. So I was there with them, helping them learn their lessons and all that. So it's like that—that's the only part of it about the homeschooling because they still not teaching them nothing on the computer either. It's like it's the same redundant information. But when are they going to use that out there in the real world, you know? But, yeah, that COVID shit was crazy. That shit had everybody on some bullshit. But that's interesting, though, that the white schools were open. But I kind of figured that they were, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying they were open the whole time. But when our schools were, when, they, when the schools in Cleveland were still closed, them suburb schools was open. Mm-hmm. Like, they was, they, I don't even think they, when I, I want to say, and I might, I might be wrong, but I want to say when when COVID hit and the, cl- and the schools closed down, they they literally got on that online shit off top. Mm-hmm. Like, it wasn't... Yeah, no, that, but they, no, but they prepped them way before it. Right, that they too. Had, they, they had them laptops. Oh, yeah. I remember... Oh, yeah, yeah, my daughter, they, yeah, they absolutely. They started bringing them home. Mm. And what's crazy Ooh. is I was working for... Uh, Ooh, right. okay. Yeah, dear brother, to your island. <laughs> ah, I seen it. Bop, bop. Um, I was working for a very popular insurance company, mm. and even they started prepping us out of nowhere to work from home. We was doing, like, routines. It's almost like, did you know? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, did you get the drop on this? Because They did. Hell yeah, they did. They knew what the fuck they was doing. Like, who, who did what? Like, because they definitely implemented work from home, and, like, people were doing it, like, you know, maybe. Eugenics. In, is that what it is? Certain people was doing no. That was popular control, population control. Oh, yeah. That was yeah, that was what they were talking yeah, about. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. um, yeah, I the, I call it the planned gimmick. I think that. <laughs> Not the planned gimmick. The planned gimmick. That's what I call it. I think that um, it was definitely intentional. Everything, setting our kids back. Even my child is a honor roll student. He felt miserably. He could not deal with not having that school environment, you know. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it's something that I'm pretty sure they they planned and cultivated to kind of set us back. And a lot of people still stuck in it. A lot of people still scared. Oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Get vaccines. Mm-hmm. They still get vaccinated. It yeah. was a Jay-Z song. They talked about COVID. In 2019, I think the song came out. And he said COVID and all of that shit in the song. Well, COVID came out in 2019, right? March of 2019 or February? Something like that, because yeah, cause they closed. I remember was, we had I don't, maybe it wasn't in 2019, the song. I don't remember when the song day was, but yeah. I know it was a song that he did. Pre-date. Yeah, like COVID. it was an old song. You ain't got no liquor? Uh-uh. Oh, thank you. I don't want that Johnny Walker. <laughs> Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Oh, Johnny Walker. Oh, but yeah. So he has a. I, I actually watched this whole thing. It's probably like an hour long, where he talks about you know the household and, the, and he actually pretty much talks talks about where the breakdown in the black household came from. Talks yeah. about where the nucle, about the nuclear family and all that stuff. So it's um it's a good thing to check out if you guys wanna wanna check it out. But yeah, I just wanted to. Bring it up because when I seen it, I, I watched it a lot, and I'm just like, he's on point. And that shit was back in the fucking 80s that he was talking about this shit. And you could tell from the afro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was back in the 80s. But still, it still reigns true today. And if we did, you know, if more households did follow those um, ideologies, I think our children, you know, start coming out a little bit better. Um, but, you know, to each its own. All right, so let's check this out. And this, this is it.
He's saying we the women we need to make sure the men that we pick are are what we should be going after. Is that what she's saying? That that's what he's saying. I mean, there's so many. I I think so. What you? I mean, that's that's how you interpreted it. That's kind of what he's saying. He's saying like he's saying if you go and get in the car, make sure it's gas in it. Well, he said make sure he has a driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk. Yeah. So I'm sure that's funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew it was but it's the same thing. Right, it's, it's, but I mean, it's the same thing. But I mean, yeah, I mean. Okay, what is he saying? Tell me. Because he was saying a lot. I mean, what you think he was saying, Risha? Because I'm telling you, I just I just turned that on. I didn't even pre do that or nothing. I just turned that on. I, so he was basically, it was almost, he was kind of saying like, um, women have to be, decide to be responsible for the man they kind of. Coming across. Okay. okay. You know right. So, right, right, right. Like kind of what I said. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I agree. You know, I think that um, at the end of the day, we attract what it is we're putting out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but a lot of times, a lot of people have to learn boundaries, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff, man. People yeah, have, it's a lot of it's stuff. A lot it's of a lot of stuff. Lot. Like, it's a lot of stuff. People have to learn self worth first before they can even get to a point to where they don't settle and that'd be the problem a yeah. lot of people just settle for like what they like they, know, they know they see red flags or whatever and they just be like oh I'm gonna go over that you know so but I don't know at the same time I just feel like everybody has to take responsibility because you get into situations where people just grind yeah and that was out of your control Woo. you was doing stuff so big ass you, was, you, know. you was doing stuff, you know, you was doing stuff at the kindness of your heart. And you had people just the way they are. Take advantage. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I know. Salute to them. I think everything he said had valid points. I would like to have heard. I'm familiar with those people. They okay, have a that pretty podcast. good, yeah, that podcast. Okay. I, I would have interested in conversations or something, but it didn't have yeah. nothing. To, yeah, that was the only post that they put up. Yeah. But I would say, you know, I mean, what he said was, I mean, I guess it was self-explanatory mm-hmm. pretty much. Like, you know, um, but like you said, though, Risha, and, you know, and I'm quite sure there's probably a lot of comments under there that say the same things. You know, people talk about these masks that people wear, you know, when you meet them. And an individual, unfortunately, some of these grimy niggas as well as grimy bitches mm-hmm. you know they that's what they in the game for to be grimy mm-hmm. i'm in the game to get over on a nigga i'm in the game to get over on a bitch you know what i'm saying so when they come in they coming in with the you know what i'm saying with all the smiles and saying all the right shit and you like damn this is this is a dream come true nigga i ain't even i ain't even know it was niggas out here like you mm-hmm. and then you know once you start trusting them and you give them that you know loyalty and shit then they take advantage of you you know what I mean? Men and women alike. You know what I'm saying? So I understand what he's coming from where he's like, yo, you you got to take responsibility of what you're attracting. But I, how can I take responsibility of attracting a lying-ass nigga? I, I, he, he, he's a liar. Like, right. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I, what the I, fuck? I, 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 what I got to do with that? I'm not trying to attract. Right, like, exactly. I don't lie to people. Yeah. You know, I'm not a liar. You know what I'm saying? So and how you, do I, how do I, I attract the liar? And you know what? I, sometimes I be wondering when you do attract things that not are like you, is that for that person to learn their yes. way so Thank they can God. change? So you rubbing off on them? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah sure. a lot of people, a lot of people, Maybe. they vibe high like that. They do have the energy to attract people that need to be healed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So very they, interesting. They'll, they'll mess somebody over, but when they get to you and mess you over, it's going to be a lesson learned. Like, yeah, like you're going to feel saying? different like, than the last feel, person yeah. that did that yeah, to you. This one's going to sting. This one's going to sting. This one is a person that vibe in that yeah. nature and it's authentic. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, mm, okay. Very interesting. I ain't thinking about it like that, but I guess yeah, you can. It'd it be like that, man. You know, you got to look it's at it. I feel like everything is a make. lesson. You know, especially us yeah. being who we are and being master manifestors to be here to be on earth, to to come and live. It, it's, it's an amazing experience that we're living. So to be able to embark on this journey, like everything's an adventure. Like, I think if everybody was to look at life differently versus what we've been told how to look and just live freely Everybody will be a lot more happier because things will come to them. They won't deflect things that are naturally supposed to attract to them already. Like, we're, we have stardust in us. That's no coincidence. Like, there's a part of our DNA they can't even ignore. Maybe, if, right maybe, if, if, maybe if everybody was black, then maybe that, that could work. But, man, listen, it's too much sure, bull. It's too much. From us, though. So it's all a part of it. Nah, I mean, yeah, but, but people don't believe they came from us. Okay, it's so much gotta, it's so up. much bullshit in the game when it comes to you know us as well as propaganda. Like they you know the TV, the television itself. The things that we watch are what? Programs. <laughs> like that shit is programming people to think certain things and to live certain ways. This is a program. And it's a prop it's propaganda. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This is a Everything program. is pretty much propaganda. Like, this is zero and ones. We're living in zero and ones right now. We're all Literally. living. Yeah, it's 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 a program. So you know, Why you just have you to be dream able. You don't see no phone or computers or tablets or anything like that. That's all man-made. I mean, That's not a part of our real reality. Well, yeah, I can agree to that. Uh, I'm not going to say Have you ever seen the phone? Like have listen. you ever had your phone? Have you ever called anybody in your dream? In my dream? Like, let's My really dreams don't be it. like that, though. My dreams be, man, listen, I'll be having some place. dreams. Right. I'll be, <laughs> I be doing some phone, other though. shit. Are you, do you see no, a I'll be fighting a lot in my dreams. Right. Like, like, <laughs> 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 that's saying something. No, but mine be like Marvel movies. Like, mine wow. be like, like I'd be like, like a princess or a warrior yeah, I'm or like, something. Yeah, I'm like superpower having ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. I have superpowers, so that's why I fight a lot. I win. I don't lose. You be, so it be dreams like that, or you be like fighting like you on the street? Like I ain't gonna say I'm Marvel. Yeah, right. I, I, yeah, like I, I be fighting like creatures. That's so, that's fighting crazy. robots and shit like that. That's what I fight. I fight like robots, robots? and shit like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> that's what I fight. My Do you dreams, know, like. not not even sixty percent of the world can remember their dreams. Yeah. yeah. I remember. I don't remember all of them. Yeah, I don't remember all of them either. I'm not gonna say that. The ones that were really, where I really fought, well, a lot of like. There are some people that go to sleep and they wake up. They don't have dreams. Yeah, I'm like, what is I'm that? that a lot. Now I could tell you for sure. When I was in jail, sober and a bitch. Yeah. I dreamed like a motherfucker. Yeah. You hear me? Like, I, really? and my dreams were so fucking real. Tell you, let me tell you about this one dream one time. <laughs> So, I'm in this dream, right? I'm, I'm stealing, right? I'm in stealing with my niggas and shit. We robbing some shit, Where? right? Where? Stealing what? I don't know. We was, I was dreaming. I don't oh, remember okay. exactly what we were stealing. Okay. We were just robbing some shit, right? So, we get caught. This is in a dream, right? We get caught in a dream, right? Police catch me, right? Put me in the back of the police car, right? And I swear to God, I'm sitting in the back of that bitch like, man, what the fuck, man? I'm about to go to jail. Then I woke up, and I was already there. And I was like, oh, oh shit. Oh, my. I was like, no. it, it, it really took a load off because it was like, oh, oh I'm already. No. <laughs> that would have fucked me up. Oh, all, yo. I was like, I'm already here. But it was very, very real. I, I totally thought I was going to jail. Free because you went to sleep in jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
<laughs> terrible. Ah, that's crazy as fuck. That yeah. psychologically would have fucked me up. Okay, I yeah. went to sleep in jail. <laughs> then I wake up, I go to sleep, and I'm in, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out I'm doing some shit though. I'm out robbing niggas. Where my niggas? <laughs> <laughs> and you call like fuck. I'm about to go to jail and wake up in fucking jail, yo. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Wow, yo, that is that is crazy. <laughs> fuck yo. That would have fucked with me yeah, so man, heavy. Man. Like, what is the lesson? Lord? What is the lesson? <laughs> Yeah, that was wow, that was it was, it was very it was very it was very uh it was very real. That's wow. all, yeah. So on that note, crazy as fuck. where can they find you? Facebook, Age Latrice, and Miss New Day on Instagram. <laughs> and where can they find you at, Risha? Uh, Facebook, Big Doula. <laughs> the big doula. Uh, IG original indigo empress. And you, your last name is Car- Oy. Oy. It's Clinton. It's Clinton, right? But you say Carlisle. Yeah, you know that's that that that's that other name. Oh, okay. I had to get rid of that other name. Right, well, I, I heard that. I had it for a minute, so it's, oh, it's lingering. It's you know, well. You know what it is, man. We appreciate you guys stopping by. SOE Cash Cow. Make sure you guys click the link in the bio. Like, subscribe. You know what to do. Make sure you guys leave comments, man. Comments, questions. If you got something that you want us to talk about, Please, you know, it. we'll talk about anything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we... Give us some topics. Give us some topics. Give us something to talk about, and we'll definitely talk, talk about talk it. You hear me? Up, okay? <laughs> I would have been a different person after having that dream. Like, Lord, you trying to tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to tell me Listen, I was, re- I was very relieved to already be... Be in jail. No, no, like, no, no. Like, you ain't even had to go through the process caught. and all that. Whew, man. It's pretty much like that. Like, I ain't get caught for real. I'm not really, I didn't really do that crime. I did that crime in, in my dream. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm already serving time for the crime I really did. But no, you you, you definitely, is. <laughs> like I said. It's crazy because in your dream, you didn't know you were still sleeping in jail. <laughs> right, That's no. the craziest fucking part. Terrifying. Oh, my God. I totally didn't know that. I love dreams. I think they're so dope because it's another reality than what we physically see with our eyes. Like, for people to be able to dream, like, that shit is amazing to me. And for you to remember that shit so vividly, like... That shit would have fucked me up, man. I'm telling y'all, that shit would have fucked me up waking up. I'm gonna tell you another thing I, I that I that I mastered in jail, falling asleep fast. I read this book about about dreaming and mm-hmm. sleeping, and they talked about your REM, what is that, rapid mm-hmm. eye movement, mm-hmm. and um, because they were saying like you don't start getting, you don't get to that to make like your second, third hour of sleep yeah, or whatever, the rim, like the REM stage. Right, but they also was like, if you want to really get to sleep, or if you want to go to sleep. <laughs> I swear to God, I do this shit, and this shit works for me. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is take ten deep breaths, and usually by my by my eighth or ninth deep when I say deep breath, I mean deep breaths. Usually by about my seventh or eighth deep breath, I'm damn near asleep. Mm-hmm. Like I could like I could go to sleep quick. Like I don't. It don't take me no time to go to sleep. <laughs> I think so once again, I think that from chair? jail. Huh? You can go to sleep in the chair. Hell yeah, I go. Well, I mean, I would rather be, com- but yeah, I, I, yeah, if it's in a chair or some shit, then no, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm going to go to sleep quick in a chair. I'm talking about plane. it like in my bed. Oh, hell yeah. I sleep on a plane like a motherfucker. You can't sleep on a plane. But I'd be. I can never get comfortable. I mean, but you know what? I'd be. I got the window seat. I can't get comfortable. I'm not going to lie. I'd be drunk and high on planes. So. Uh, I'd be drunk I'd be too, but I just can't for some oh, reason. Shit. I can't get You're going to be drunk enough. I have the neck pillow. Neck pillow and I put my seat back. I just can't get a comfortable position. I don't even need all that. Position. <laughs> all I need is a couple yeah. shots. We take some shots in the bar. We need I mean, that bitch though? like this. I be, yeah, shit, I, I mean, might be, I might have to, go to look, I might have a thing down, and I might be like, this on that your bitch. Arms it will go to sleep. My arms don't go to sleep? They will, be, they, your my arms can go to no, sleep sitting on pressure like that long not, enough. Not really, no. And your not face on arm. it. Not my arms. My shit be going and then to I'm, sleep. And then if, I, if anything started going to sleep, I just move that shit around. What you mean? But no, my arms don't really go to sleep. My legs go to sleep. My arms be pretty cool. 